the silk hat soldier and other poems in wartime by richard le gallien read for librivox dot org by bruce kachok to belgium our tears our songs our laurels what are these to thee in thy gethsemane of loss stretched in thine unimagined agonies on hell's last engine of the iron cross for such a world as this that thou shouldst die is price too vast yet belgium hadst thou sold thyself o oh, then had fled from out the earth honour for ever and left only gold nor diest thou for soon shalt thou awake and lifted high on our victorious shields watch the new sunrise driving for your sons the hated german shadow from your fields end of poem this recording is in the public domain the silk hat soldier by richard le gallien read for LibriVox.org. british colonists resident in london volunteer and not even silk hats are doffed before training begins new york times i saw him in a picture and i felt i'd like to cry he stood in line the man for mine a tall silk hatted guy right on the call silk hat and all he'd hurried to the cry for he loves england well enough for england to die i've seen king harry's helmet in the abbey hanging high the one he wore at agincourt but braver to my eye that city toff too keen to doff his stovepipe bless him why for he loves england well enough for england to die and other fellows in that line had come too on the fly their joys and toys brave english boys for good and all put by oh you brave best teach all the rest how pure the heart and high when one loves england well enough for england to die one threw his cricket bat aside one left the ink to dry all peace and play he's put away and bid his love good-bye o oh, mother mine o oh, sweetheart mine no man of yours am i if i love not england well enough for england to die i guess it strikes a chill somewhere the bravest won't deny all that you love away to shove and set your teeth to die but better dead when all is said than lapped in peace to lie if we love not england well enough for england to die end of poem this recording is in the public domain the cry of the little peoples by richard le gallien read for librivox dot org the cry of the little peoples went up to god in vain the check and the pole and the fin and the slash wig dane we ask but a little portion of the green ambitious earth only to sow and sing and reap in the land of our birth we ask not coaling stations nor ports in the china seas we leave to the big child nations such rivalries as these we have learned the lesson of time and we know three things of worth only to sow and sing and reap in the land of our birth oh leave us little margins waste ends of land and sea a little grass and a hill or two and a shadowing tree oh leave us our little rivers that sweetly catch the sky 
to drive our mills and to carry our wood and to ripple by once long ago as you with hollow pursuit of fame we filled all the shaking world with the sound of our name but now are we glad to rest our battles and boasting done glad just to sow and sing and reap in our share of the sun of this o oh, will ye rob us with a foolish mighty hand and with such cruel sorrow so small a land to your land so might a boy rejoice him to conquer a hive of bees overcome ants in battle we are scarcely more mighty than these so might a cruel heart hear a nightingale singing alone and say i am mighty see how the singing stops with a stone yea he were mighty indeed mighty to crush and to gain but the bee and the ant and the bird were the mighty of brain and what shall you gain if you take us and bind us and beat us with thongs and drive us to sing underground in a whisper our sad little songs forbid us the very use of our heart's own nursery tongue is this to be strong ye nations is this to be strong your vulgar battles to fight and your grocery conquests to keep for this shall we break our hearts for this shall our old men weep what gain in the day of battle to the rus to the german what gain the check and the pole and the fin and the slashwig dane the cry of the little peoples goes up to god in vain for the world is given over to the cruel sons of cain the hand that would bless us is weak and the hand that would break us is strong and the power of pity is not but the power of a song the dreams that our fathers dreamed to-day are laughter and dust and nothing at all in the world is left for a man to trust let us hope no more or dream or prophesy or pray for the iron world no less will crash on its iron way yea nothing is left but to watch with a helpless pitying eye the kind old aims for the world and the kind old fashions die end of poem this recording is in the public domain The Illusion of War by Richard Le Gallien, read for LibriVox.org. War, I abhor, and yet how sweet the sound along the marching street of drum and fife, and I forget wet eyes of widows, and forget broken old mothers, and the whole dark butchery without a soul without a soul save this bright drink of heady music sweet as hell and even my peace abiding feet go marching with the marching street for yonder yonder goes the fife and what care i for human life the tears fill my astonished eyes and my full heart is like to break and yet tis all embannered lies a dream those little drummers make oh it is wickedness to clothe yon hideous grinning thing that stalks hidden in music like a queen that in a garden of glory walks till good men love the thing they loathe art thou hast many infamies but not an infamy like this o oh, snap the fife and still the drum and show the monster 
as she is. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Christmas in Wartime by Richard Le Gallienne. Read for LibriVox.org. This is the year that has no Christmas Day. Even the little children must be told that something sad is happening far away. Or if you needs must play, as children must, play softly, children, underneath your breath. For over our hearts hangs low the shadow of death. Those hearts to you, mysteriously old, grim grown-up hearts that ponder night and day on the straight lists of broken-hearted dead, black narrow lists no tears can wash away, reading in which one cries out here and there and falls into a dream upon a name. Be happy softly, children, for a woe is on us, a great woe for little fame. Ah, in the old woods leave the mistletoe, and leave the holly for another year. Its berries are too red, and lovers, like two children, will not you cease for a little from your kissing mirth, thinking of other lovers that must go, kissed back with fire into the bosom of earth ah in the old woods leave the mistletoe be happy softly lovers for you too shall be as sad as they another year and then for you the holly be berries of blood and mistletoe strange berries of bitter tears ah lovers leave you your beatitude Give your sad eyes and ears to the far griefs of neighbor and of friend, to the great loves that find a little end, long loves that in a sudden puff of fire, with a wild thought, expire. And you, ye merchants, you that eat and cheat, gold-seeking hucksters in a noble land, think when you lift the wine up in your hand, of a fierce vintage tragically red red wine of the hearts of english soldiers dead who ran to a wild death with laughing feet that we may sleep and drink and eat and cheat ah you brave few that fight for all the rest and die with smiling faces strangely blessed because you die for england oh to do something again for you in this great deed to have some little part to send so great a message from the heart of england that one man shall be as ten hearing how england loves her englishmen ah think you that a single gun is fired we do not hear in england ah we hear and mothers go with proud unhappy eyes that say it is for england that he dies england that does the cruel work of god and gives her well beloved to save the world for this is death like to a woman desired for this the winepress trod and you in churches praying this christmas morn pray as you never prayed that this may be the little war that brought the great world peace undazzled with its glorious infamy oh pray with all your hearts that war may cease and who knows but that god may hear the prayer so it may come about next christmas day that we shall hear the happy children play gladly aloud unmindful of the dead and watch the lovers go to the old woods to find the mistletoe but this year children if you needs must play play very softly underneath your breath be happy softly lovers for great death makes england holy with sorrow 
this Christmas day. Yes, in the old woods, leave the mistletoe and leave the holly for another year. Its berries are too red. Christmas, eighteen ninety nine, written during the Boer War. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Soldier Going to the War by Richard Le Gallienne. Read for LibriVox.org. Soldier Going to the War, will you take my heart with you, so that I may share a little in the famous things you do? Soldier Going to the War, if in battle you must fall, will you? among all the faces see my face the last of all soldier coming from the war who shall bind your sunburnt brow with the laurel of the hero soldier soldier vow for vow soldier coming from the war when the street is one wide sea flags and streaming eyes and glory soldier will you look for me end of poem this recording is in the public domain the rainbow by richard le gallienne read for librivox dot org these things are real said one and bade me gaze on black and mighty shapes of iron and stone on murder on madness on lust on towns ablaze and on a thing made all of rattling bone what said he will you bring to match with these yea war is real i said and real is death a little while mortal realities but love and hope draw an immortal breath think you the storm that wrecks a summer day with funeral blackness and with leaping fire and boiling roar of rain more real than they that when the warring heavens begin to tire with tender fingers on the tumult paint spanning the huddled rack from base to cope with soft effulgence like some haloed saint the rainbow bridge eternal that is hope deem her no phantom born of desperate dreams ere man yet was twas hope that wrought him man the blind earth climbing skyward by her gleams hoped and the beauty of the world began prophetic of all loveliness to be though god himself seem from his station hurled still shall the blackest hell look up and see hope's rainbow on the summits of the world end of poem this recording is in the public domain end of the silk hat soldier and other poems in wartime by richard le gallienne